Are we? Are we? Are we lit? No, we're good. Yeah, we're Gucci LaFleur. That's my <laughs> new thing to say. That's we're Gucci LaFleur. You've been saying that for years. I know, but I've, I've, it's not a new thing. If I've, if you're just really? admitting it, yeah. You know, I said Gucci LaFleur for a long time. Yeah. Oh, uh, you say yeah. it a lot. Yeah, we Gucci LaFleur. <laughs> You've been saying it since I've known you. I think. Really? Uh no, that's a lie. Not when I first met you, like years ago. But since definitely we started the podcast. Oh yeah, I do say Gucci LaFleur a lot. Yeah. Well. We are definitely Gucci LaFleur, and this is <laughs> Sup Podcast, and I'm one host, Lawrence Deloach. I'm Chris Cheney. All right, and we are up to episode number 74. Do you have an athlete reference for 74? Because that seems to be your that's thing such, now. That's such a fucking weird number. I don't <laughs> think there's an athlete that we're 74. What do you think the best number is besides 23? Besides 23? Yeah. 32 is dope. Uh, that's just because you're That's like your numbers what you 3, mean? 2, 5, 32 32 is dope I was also going to say 5, 2 that was Yeah, a, no, yeah. <laughs> you, Okay, so besides Besides numbers that are affiliated With Lawrence Deloach <laughs> Yes Non-Deloach numbers uh, it's, No, it's 69 That's the best number No, it's not Double zero, 69 uh, And then 42 <laughs> 42. <laughs> 42. I think I think another good number well ba- sp- basketball wise is like 21. Why oh because of the game 21? Nah, in terms of like jersey numbers you're saying? Like, yeah. Nah, there was some good really good players that wore 21. 21 is a solid number. I think like Okay. When I play like when I play basketball I like and I get a jersey I like it to be like a double num- like two numbers. Yeah, I like doubles. I like I like when I was a kid I was a Brett Favre fan, mm-hmm. so I would get the Cheney four. I would always go for four on any okay. sports team or whatever. But double zero is fire. I think that might be a Celtics bias. That's a yeah, Robert Parrish, the Chief. Yeah, but there's not a lot of double zeros out there. No, uh, double zero is cool. And then, dude, it has to be sixty nine. Has to be. Yeah, I don't think there's ever really been too many guys that wore six worn sixty nine though. I remember it was Valentine's Day. I only remember this because. Um, dude in a Mets jersey that had the name Nasty and it was 69 was the number. <laughs> yo, that shit was fire. I was like, yo, you out here making mom proud. Yeah. <laughs> you know who's not making mom proud? Who? Stock X. They not making their moms proud because motherfuckers have uh, breached our security and the Stock X tried to uh-huh. hide it, yep. cover it up, yep. and then they got busted. And now they're like, oh, we're very sorry, and we know how important it is that your privacy and security is a top priority to us. And we're going to give you 12 free months of fraud detection and identity theft for an added peace of mind. Really? Well, yeah, but what does that even mean? I don't know what that means, but I want my hundred and twenty five dollars, right? Because I didn't get one hundred and twenty five dollars from Equifax, so or Equifax. So I want my money. I want my money now in my Stewie Griffin voice. Where's my money? I want my money. <laughs> oh, is this when he beats the shit out of Here's Brian? When he beats Brian. He's like, I want my money. Give me my money. You got time to be sending out fake emails, huh? Let me light you on fire. That's what I want. I want. I'm, it's just insane. But you know what? Listen, I'm gonna say this. Yep. Uh, that is, uh, anytime you deal with stuff like with these, with apps and, you know, and your personal information, you know, it, we're not, we're not selling with the U.S. government and the Pentagon and shit like that. If that yeah. makes sense. We're, we're using <laughs> StockX. <laughs> it is a new platform that is a few years old. Yep. And I'm sure, and I, you know. Worth I, a billy. Yeah, it's worth a lot of money. Has a lot Billy of backers. Rock. Yep. But unfortunately, these these things happen. Mm-hmm. And unless you sell with um, Flight Club or Stadium Goods, and you don't even link your bank account, there's always a chance. Of, always for everything. Of it for everything. Exactly. Oh yeah, totally. And um, you know, I you know, I hear a lot of. People were, you know, they. I, I heard people complain and talk, talk about, you know, this is fucked up and, you know, my personal information is out there. And I'm like, bro, I get it. You know what I mean? I'm not sitting here disputing that. But um, when you sell with these companies, and that's what we talked about with the um, network app. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, you know, where you, where you provide them your information and your, you know, your credit card numbers or whatever – your personal information, your emails, your home address. Yeah, like when I signed up for that, I gave them all of my information. I was like, they're going to sell this to somebody. I know Someone that. Someone is, yeah, because 
you know, that people were saying that, you know, they were getting like emails and people like because they feel like StockX sold, you know, the yeah. information was already they resold everyone's information. <laughs> And and you know it, you can be mad. <laughs> I get it. I understand. I I totally get it. But if if people think that this isn't like uh, a normal thing to happen, and they're upset specifically at stock, I, I get being mad at StockX. But if you don't think Google got a fucking folder on you, uh, iTunes got a folder on you. If you don't think everybody, Pornhub got, got a folder on you. Everybody, <laughs> Pornhub definitely. He definitely have folders on you. everyone. Anytime you send out your you you provide them with your information, there's a chance. Yeah, man, there's a good chance. So you know, I hope I hope you guys. Um, obviously, I don't want anyone's information and you know stuff to be compromised and you know for. But this is part of the streetwear game. There was a W in the world of uh, hacking and bots and things like that with uh, Para. They uh, did another Nike SB low. I don't know if you saw that. I did the, see the low, yeah. the all white ones, right? Yeah, 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 mm-hmm. yeah. With the pink chenille and shit, whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, so they tricked bots into buying a picture of the shoes instead of the actual shoes. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Which is Loki so fire. Wait, who, hold on. I got who, the article somewhere here. Who did that? Uh, Para. The, no, what skate shop? That was a skate shop. Hold up. Wait a minute. Let me see if I can find this shit. Uh, Bonkers in Frankfurt. Oh, wow. Decided to combat the bots uh, and uh, told Solo Skate Mag that the shop fooled bots into purchasing photos of the sneakers instead of actual pairs. And the quote here is that, so we decided to also show the middle finger and sell digital pictures of the shoes. We put the shoes online 3,000 times in every size with the title Picture of Shoe XY and wrote in the product description that this is not about the shoe, but seven product pictures priced at 10 euros each. Mm Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so I guess, like, the bots didn't, like, anticipate that sort of, uh, item in their algorithm or in whatever fucking mm-hmm. way they do it. Yeah, so people were just buying pictures of the shoes, which is hilarious. <laughs> it's so funny. There are, there are, uh, I've seen that happen before. I think Kiff's done some shit like that, too, where, where, you yes. know, where the, to combat the bots, they'll, like, they'll switch up the product or some shit like that. And well, I think it goes back to the original uh, headline that was made when a guy uh, put a box uh, for the Xbox online and sold it for, to, like, a mother uh-huh. for $400. He was like, <laughs> this is the Xbox. <laughs> he, like, titled it, like, the Xbox or some shit. And this mom was just trying to get, like, an Xbox for her kids for Christmas. Hilarious. And it just came in the box. <laughs> <laughs> and then they were like, yo, what's good with you? Because yeah. like she called and complained to eBay and like some I don't know. You know, white media picks up on all white women angry news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like they were just like, What happened? And she's like, I bought a box and they went to the guy who was like, Yeah, I said it was a box in the description, idiot. So. That's hilarious. <laughs> I, I saw a meme, I don't know how true it was, but I saw it was a young uh girl, she had purchased a pair of uh Bordeaux sevens, but the seller shipped her Bordeaux uh Pepperidge Farm cookies. <laughs> So I don't know, you know. That's There's been some good scams over the years. Those are funny. Like, yo, I remember when the iPhone 7 first came out, someone bought one of uh, China and like or you know whatever China outlet, or, and it, they got sent a uh, iPhone 3, mm-hmm. an iPhone 4, and a Yu-Gi-Oh fusion card, <laughs> like a polarization card. That's so hilarious. <laughs> that's hilarious. Yeah. Bro, the scams are, man, you don't want to be uh, scammed. No, you don't want to be scammed at all. But I don't, I don't know. Hopefully, I think we'll figure this out one day. I don't know when or how we'll figure it out, but (laughs) we'll figure out the internet thing at some point. I don't know. Because, like, with releases like the, you know, the the other off-white SB is going to come out, and that's that's a whole craze and shit. We were talking off mic. I don't even like those, though. Oh, so for those for the listeners out there, uh, there's been some images of the uh, a new uh, S- off white FB. I don't know that. Well, I don't know if this are they. Yeah, they're the off. They're SBs, right? Yeah, they're SBs. Well, they're just well, actually, they're oh, dunk they're dunk lows. lows, I guess. They're the dunk lows. They were the Futura uh, mock-ups. Yeah, but these are the non. Yeah, these are they almost must have the sample. I don't know construction samples or something. But these, so these are Futura ones. Yeah, I guess I don't know. <laughs> well, the Futura ones were uh, they were the UNC and then like the uh, the orange like Syracuse type ones. Yeah. Um, 
pine green. You know, a lot of people don't like them. I am I am a huge uh, dunk low person. Uh, I do enjoy them. I don't know. A lot of people don't like the little orange fly wire, the way those are. Uh, no, it's stupid. It's un- like, what is No, I'm cool. I'm good. <laughs> I didn't mean to sound so aggressive, but it's just like, this is just stupid to be stupid. That's what I see when I see this. Like, what I mean, well, okay, here's the thing. If it was just a dunk. Yeah. It'd be without f- without the orange lacing. Yeah. Would it be stupid? Uh, it'd be less stupid. What w- All right, so this is what I'm this is what I'll say. So, um now Virgil collabs are basically just the type on the medial of the yes. shoe, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? Or the outs- like, you know, just the type on it is basically what a Virgil collab is with Nike now. Mm-hmm. Um so they don't have like the zip tie, mm-hmm. uh, so I think this is like their new version of a zip tie where they're gonna just add the random. I, that's not Flywire, right? It, are they calling it Flywire? I think it is some type of Flywire. Verge wire. Verge wire. <laughs> they got the off wire. Mm-hmm. Off wire. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> this is how Nike meetings go when they're naming stuff. They're like, "What do you want to call this one?" <laughs> I don't know. Alpha, Omega, Dunk hype. Okay. <laughs> yeah, those. But you know what? I- I, you know what? The verge this, wire. This is what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say this. So many people uh, shit on the product shots with off white, just like uh, those Terror yeah. Tigers. You yes. Know? And people were like, "Oh, those are gross. Those are trash. Those are terrible. I wouldn't fuck with those." And you got motherfuckers in Disneyland fighting them. You know what I'm saying? It's, yeah, I know. You know what I'm saying? So people were buying them. Yeah, definitely. And I think what happens is a lot of time, you know, this is a this is one of those things where people who missed out on the 10 or something you know one of the hype off whites now are like fuck i'm gonna get a pair for retail yeah it's true and it and seems th- like so the the off wire or the verge wire whatever you want to call it is replacing the uh zip tie thing this seems to be the second is, iteration I, I don't know if it's replacing but it, it what, did it do on the, the kigers too did it was it would you see that little because this is just the first time i've seen the that type of lacing that second lacing uh no i don't i don't remember if it's on i don't think it's on the kigers so i don't think it, i don't know if it's replacing i think though the zip tie was very uh the 10 heavy i don't know if these new models will have the uh how do you spell kiger uh k-i-g-e-r K I G E R. Oh yeah, like a tiger. I guess. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah. It had. It didn't have this. Oh wait. Did it? Hold on. No, I don't think those. So let's see. Let's see here. Yeah. So it has the weird lacing, but oh, it does have the zip tie. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. So I. I don't know. If, I don't. Know. Once again, we're just seeing. We are just seeing. Uh, product shots. I don't know if we're. You know. Once again, yeah, maybe these the, might be the final. Maybe yeah, yeah, the yeah, actual. Yeah. You know, the actual product will have the zip tie because that is. What uh, you know, is Virgil is notorious for. Yeah, I mean, I I just hate like the. <clears throat> I know it's sort of like this is the official like stamp of a whatever like the zip tie is like uh you know this is official shit. Mm-hmm. It's supposed to be like the little added touch. It's not like whatever. I I don't know. I'm I'm kind of off on the unnecessary shit. Like the type is already so unnecessary to me mm-hmm. that all these extra added little knickknacks is just becoming kind of uh, over the top. Like you don't. This would have been a fine shoe without the off wire, the verge wire. You well, know? I think you know. I I think that they got to add something to it if that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, I guess so. I thought the type was enough. You know, you're mm-hmm. already you're already getting away with just having Helvetica on a shoe and making it special. Like when now you're gonna fucking add a different lacing system. No one's gonna use. Like, mm-hmm. dude, the fuck out of here. Uh, I mean, that's just me though. I don't know. I mean, I don't. All the things. I'm excited about this is definitely not up there as far as shit that I'm hype about. That you hyped about? Yeah, I'm more hype about Vince Carter's shocks coming out like last Friday. Ah, uh, yeah, I do rem- yeah, those were uh I remember those the uh the shocks from the basketball shocks, yeah. Yeah. I mean, out of all now is the time where I'm starting to appreciate older models that didn't get their due mm-hmm. because you got shoes like this where I'm looking at them, I'm going like, "All right, like I you know, it's this is more hype than it is a good shoe to me. Mm-hmm. It's more hype and stuff. And then you got stuff like the Vince Carter shocks coming out again. It's like, dude, these were actually underappreciated and fire. And th- this is a good opportunity to get those and kind of have the nostalgic shit that's you know a- has time and context to it. Yeah, yeah. Versus a shoe like this where it's just like, oh no, Virgil just did it. 
Well, we got, I mean, you got to realize we got, uh, they're, they're marketed, I think, to two different groups of Absol- people. Absolutely. And we overlap, I think, in that Venn diagram of people, but there's two separate categories. Two separate categories, man. You got these, you know, a lot of, they're for the hype and for the young kids and yeah. shit like that. And and then you have, you know, you have these um, these dunks and then you have the, the shocks or People who are, you know, in their in their thirties, and people who, you know, who remember, you know, events jumping over people and and the shot the BB fours. Yeah, stuff dude, like these that. are fucking. Those are beautiful. These are fucking awesome. I mean, it just makes me think of all the underappreciated shoes, like the T Max. I think are fucking gold. Mm-hmm. That those didn't really get their due. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You start thinking about and ones. Is there any models that you think that like you know? Didn't get their due like these ones did because I I immediately saw those and was like damn I wish I had my T Max I don't know what the correlation was between these and T Max and me wishing I had them again but there was something I was like damn there's so many underappreciated basketball models that we had that just kind of like went through the gander of just um, general releases and they just didn't get their special touches. I think a lot of those phone posit series from the early 2000s were uh, were def- or definitely underrated, and I'm not talking about just the phone posit. Yeah, you're talking about all the you know the more basketball iterations. The more ba- so they were like um, you know Kevin Garnett had phone posits that um, uh, that were underrated. Uh, Wait, t- Kevin Garnett had a phone posit? Yes, he did for the short time that he was with. Uh, Nike, yeah, Kevin Garnett had a... Ke- Kevin Garnett hopped around to every fucking brand. What a fucking sneaker whore that he was. Jesus. Uh, you know, I just tried to Google all different types of... So you look at, like, the total... Uh, oh, the history of Nike phone posits. The, 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 the total phone posits. Uh, so, uh, hold on for one second. Keep going. All right, so... Oh, the flight posits. I remember those. those. Flight posits. Yeah. The pure posits. There we go. The Air Flight Posit 2. Uh, that, yo, now they're starting to look like Gundams. That was the first That was the first time they started to make them look like robots in 2000. Mm-hmm. Dude, the clock posit? Holy shit, I forgot about those. Mm-hmm. God so, damn. I think, you know, we all we all look at the model that Penny wore. Yeah. But uh, the phone, the, the, hold on, go back. The Flight Posit 2 where uh, I just remember so many people, like Kevin Garnett was one of those guys wearing a uh, flight posit. And um, they are early. See, th- those are like early 2000s singers that I think that Nike needs to bring back, man. Yeah, these ones are good. I'm surprised uh, some of these younger brands that are trying to do weirder shit haven't hit something like the clog posit. Because that's a croc. That's a Nike basketball shoe. This mm-hmm. is such a weird shoe. I forgot all about this thing. God damn. Jumpman Team Masterpiece. Flight Posit 3. Flight, a lot of people wore the Flight Posit 3 that mm-hmm. I played basketball with. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't remember anyone wearing the Air Signature Player, though. Oh, some of these are ridiculous. The Trainer Posit? Holy fuck. They had a bunch of posits. Yeah. Po- I mean, Le- yeah. They're counting the LeBron. F- that's a phone, that's a foam posit material. Yes, it was. I actually had two pairs of those. Those were uh, the, Le- the Zoom LeBron 4s, which are... They're some of the most heavy sneakers I've ever worn, but they were really nice. I believe it. I had the uh, the gold and I had the birthday joints. Oh, Mellow had a posit too. So I'm saying, yeah. I mean, it, you know, you it, know, more posits out than I thought. I mean, sky posit. Jesus Christ! Look at it. Oh yeah, no, I remember the yeah when the when the Air Force One phone posit came out. I remember I freaked out. I thought this shit was one of the coolest shits I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. So that's KG uh, wearing the flight posit twos. Oh, that's when. Um, what year was that? When he's on the uh, two thousand. Two thousand. You know, uh, Mitchell and Ness is coming out with the Dream Team collection again. Actually, coming out. They just came out with it already. Did they? Yeah, I don't. They I did, saw it. article. Hold on, let me see this. Been selling out. This shit is so flames. Yeah, I would actually. I would buy. I mean, I would buy the. I would actually buy the actual uniform, the Jordan jersey. So we agree, ninety two is the best Olympic year as far as the design of the the jerseys, right? Yes, I mean, yeah, it's it's iconic, bro. Like, yeah, that Dream Team hat right there, like, yeah. Yeah, for, so for the audio listeners and uh, video listeners, because it's just a static page on YouTube, but uh, for the audio listeners, the, yeah, we're just going through this, like, little collection of uh, Mitchell and Ness. It's a hype beep post where it's just, like, we're looking at the jerseys and tees and shit. God damn, that is so fucking good. Yeah, man, a lot. Yeah, bro, I was I was thinking about it too. I was like, dude, but I don't wear I don't wear jerseys like that anymore. But I would still get one. I would wear that like on stage, like just on some. 
I'm at, you know what it is? I don't like the basketball jerseys just because it's like mm. I wear stuff over stuff now mm. and and I don't know like when I started doing it, but you can wearing a jersey over a hoodie now is just gross. It's no, nasty. Wearing, yeah. But wearing a jersey with a uh, with a button up shirt. Yeah. It's like I right, like, Yeah, yeah, you could do that. You could do that. Like I so yeah, because I got that Celtics. I got that Mitchell and Ness Celtics uh, mm. baseball jersey. It's a button up, but mm. I can wear that over anything. That's mm. nice. Mm-hmm. Wearing a basketball jersey that doesn't break in the front, it's like, yo, and mm-hmm. it's a tank top. Mm-hmm. You're basically mm-hmm. like wearing a wife beater jersey. Mm-hmm. 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 So, I mean, yeah, I don't know. Something about it. But, like, the tees in this shit is good. The hat, fire. But, yeah, shout out to Dream Team, man. What's the be- next best year? Because you're the sports expert on this. What's the next best year after 92? In terms of Olympic basketball team. Oh, in terms of teams or just jerseys? I mean, we could go both ways on that. Uh, 96 Pause. had some really nice jerseys, and 96 had a great team, but they were just obviously were overshadowed by the, uh, by the 92 Olympic team. But the 96 team had pretty much everyone um, except for Mike was on the team. Mike wasn't on the 96 team. Uh, but they had uh, Hakeem, Shaq, uh, they had Pip, they had Penny, they had Grant Hill. Oh, yeah. That, Carl was, Malone. that was their jerseys then? Those were their jerseys. Stockton oh, yeah. played. Yeah, they looked like the Miami. That's like the Miami font. Yeah, so they, they had a wonderful team. Charles was, I think, on 96 team. Um, 2008 had a wonderful team with LeBron and Kobe and all those guys. Yeah. But um, I'm trying to think. Uh, 2005. Four's jerseys were horrible, as well as the team. This is one of those moments, guys, where if you're a listener and you don't know, this is where you like kind of pause and Google along with us so you could take the ride. Mm-hmm. Take the ride, man. Take the ride with us. Pause. Pause, yeah. Heavy pause on the ride that you're taking with us. But yes, take it, please. Pause. You can't <laughs> just keep... <laughs> just need to pause the entire time. Pause, 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 pause. No, but I definitely... Uh... What? I definitely want to purchase some of this stuff, man, because I think uh, uh, I really want to. I want to get one I just as for nostalgia. You know what I want to get, and uh, I'm just gonna kind of segue here. Uh, I, I want to get this so bad because <laughs> it's like it's beef on a T. Is uh, so Nigo's current brand, Human Made, uh, came out with a shirt that's against Pape. <laughs> which it like you know he's like kind of dissing himself essentially. This shit is so fire. It's hilarious. Yeah, so it's uh. It's a human-made shirt, uh, and, you know, it's alleged that he's t- attacking Bape because a bathing ape, uh, Nego, started way back in the day and based off of um, Planet of the Apes. So the shirt here, human-made, says, go home, or go human, not ape, and it's like the humans, like, shushing away, I guess, the Planet of the Apes apes. Mm-hmm. But, uh, dude, <laughs> yeah, it's just like, this is one of those things where it's like, these are one of those niche moments in time where, like, it's a weird disc because it's like within in your own self. Like this reminds me of when Buck, Young Buck, had Ludacris and Ti on the same track, and they were dissing uh-huh. each other. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so please get off the Tip of my dick. Pause. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah, it's like it's like a niche thing where it's just like you know, he's dissing himself within himself, but not himself because he doesn't own the company anymore. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So does he like not want us to like Bathing Ape anymore? I don't know, but I think he's definitely he's definitely taking a, uh, aim at him, bro. He's definitely shooting at him. And uh, but I mean, how can I mean? Does Nigo? I mean, bro, Nigo and those guys made bait what it is so i yeah. get, i get why he keep keep scrolling down on that on that article cuz so it's a the so for the visual listeners that are googling any or you're going to do later it's just uh it's a picture from the 1972 uh conquest of the planet of the apes um so it's just a picture and it just says uh like i said before go human not ape and uh yeah it's just like a photo tee it came out August 8th, so uh, a couple of days ago. He left BAPE in 2013 um, and then founded uh, Harajuku. I guess that's how you pronounce that, streetwear brand, in 93. Mm. And then um, left BAPE in the dust, and now that it popped back up, I guess he wants to t- take some shots. He sold 90% of BAPE to Hong Kong's IT for 2.8 mil. 
damn, dude. Yeah, Nico cashed out, man. Yeah, I mean, he saw. Well, that's weird because all right, so he sold ninety percent. Does he still have ten percent? So he's he's like taking a shot at only ten percent of himself. He's like shooting himself in his own foot, literally. Mm-hmm. Because <laughs> if you have still you still have stake in the brand, that's so weird. Some of the behind the scenes stuff do gets so messy sometimes, and you don't even know. Nope. <laughs> like when um, like when married to the mob fucking at, was beefing with Supreme over the Supreme bitch shit. Do you remember that? No, I don't remember that. <clears throat> married to the mob, uh, Leah McSweeney's brand had a shirt that just said it was a box logo. It said Supreme bitch instead of su- just Supreme. Supreme. Okay. Yeah, like uh, Rihanna was wearing it and shit. And then um, they did like a whole capsule collection, and they started coming like a recurring thing. And then James Jabia like sued Leah. Got you. Because was like, yo, what are you? What I are thought you this was a one-off. And then yeah. there was a whole thing. And Barbara Kruger even commented like, what are you gonna sue me next? Like, <clears throat> excuse me. But yeah, that whole shit was weird. Streetwear beefs are. <laughs> yeah. Or, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Streetwear beefs are. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, dude, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> speaking of beef, though, um, I think. <laughs> I mean, I'm not serious when I say this, but I think ASAP Rocky's going to start World War Three if he doesn't go back to Sweden because he was just like, yo, I am I'm not, not going, going back. back. <laughs> I'm not going back. I'm not to going back. Nah, to I saw that shit, yeah. And they're pissed. They're like, yo, you have to come back. We let you out on goodwill. And he's like, dude, fuck that. I'm not doing that shit. Yeah. <laughs> I think, yeah, it's going to be interesting. We, I already got a, we already got a weird thing with Russia. Now Sweden's not going to fuck with us because of ASAP Rocky. Nah, if ASAP, if ASAP causes us not to fuck with Sweden, man, that'd be the funniest shit ever, bro. I, I, I mean, yeah, I don't know. Just if it would be a weird history book to read, like fifty years from now, if like the start of World War Three involved the tweet that Trump had, where he, <laughs> AS, we need to get ASAP back I mean, ASAP. I mean, it's like it's been and a then, rocky week. <laughs> And it's like, jeez. And that's the reason we went and started a Cold War with fucking I know, <laughs> Sweden. I know, I know, I know. Bro, I really, I'm sorry. I need some of this USA shit, dude. This the shit, USA shit is fire. I need to. I mean, I I was looking at it this week and I was like, ah, because there was other shit I, I, wanted, to, I wanted to buy. But I was just like, bro, that shit is fire. It is fire. I don't know. Uh, the. <sighs> It's just jerseys aren't chill anymore. I I, I don't I wouldn't want to wear any basketball jersey out ever. Like I'm not. It's not 04. You know what I mean? I'm, Fab is the only one that could wear that shit now. You, so you telling me you don't think you could wear? See, I got a I got a Mitchell in that 45. Yeah. Jordan that I want to wear, and I'm like, if you came out that way, dude, you gross. <laughs> you think so? If I, I don't know. You might. All right. The only way that you could pull this off is if. Uh, it's so long though, right? It would have to be. Have nah, to be, it's for it's. Oh, so, uh, it's my size. It's extra large. It's okay. Yeah, because I would be, because all of us early on we got like the four extra inches on them shits. See what I, I'm thinking? I mean, I'm actually gonna wear it soon because I'm like whatever. I'm gonna wear it. Um, just. I'm trying to think of a way you can do it and not look nasty. I yeah, it would have to be a little more fitted. Um, I guess. Actually, you know what? You would have to wear it like you're supposed to, and just have nothing under it. You would have to wear it like a like a like nothing under you, like and no kind of fit it. Yeah, maybe just a wife beater, just like a tank to have some separation. Yeah. But because other than that, you're just gonna look gross. You're just gonna look nasty. You're gonna look like you 20 years ago. Yeah, I was thinking, man. I was like, but you definitely, you know, either you wear it with some shorts, like you said, or or. Like my new thing is cargos. You wear it with some cargos. Yeah, you cargos. You can't. You can go cargo because you. You if you wear a, a basketball jersey, you don't want to look like you're a basketball player. So you got to exactly. Also, it's got to be like, oh, this is just a piece. You know. Yes. Yeah. You know, I never really understood everyone's hate on cargo shorts, though. I um, think cargo shorts are fucking. Look, I'm not saying they're the the best shorts you can have, mm-hmm. but not only is it a way for a man to get away with having some like pockets. It's a way for us to wear like a purse, you know what I mean? But they're just very practical and camo cargo mm-hmm. shorts are, I think, a staple in anybody's Any wardrobe. Ones, yep. Bro, I love, I love, I'm, I'm turning around. I mean, not turning, but uh, cargo pants, bro. Oh, you're turning on the cargo pants. I love cargo pants. Cargo pants, yes. What I will say though is they have to be baggy. You can't have like Fitted. skin. Yeah, dude, because you'll look nuts. You got to have like the skate yeah, vibe looking gotta, mm-hmm. cargo pants. No, you're right. 
Yo, remember when um they had the zip off ones and everyone thought that shit was fire? Zip off? Yeah, they had the pants where you could just zip it off and they became shorts. I Oh yeah, I did see those. Yeah, 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 I did see. I know what you're talking about. That okay. was a thing in high school. I remember everyone was fucking kind of freaking out. They mm. like when them shits came out cuz you could wear it at school and then like you <laughs> It, this is kind of nasty now that I'm thinking about it. You wear the pants all day until you went to gym, and then you took the gym. Yeah, pants, then you took the shit off the, for gym, and you'd be like, "Yo, I'm ready now. I can play ball." And <laughs> looking back, uh, <laughs> it's gross. <laughs> Why would no change into the gym shorts? <laughs> don't do that. Yeah, don't then don't zip it back up when gym's over and shit. That's, that's what they would do. They would zip it up gro- and then go to math. That's gross. <laughs> They'd go to history. Some of the shit I did in high school, man. We we had like we would have practice basketball practice early, and then we went and shower for the day. So uh-huh. like we have practice at six in the morning, and then we wouldn't shower all day. And then we oh, gross! Yeah, I don't know, that shit was gross. Coach used to have us doing two days, and we really didn't have a. We didn't, you know, it wasn't like we bought you know extra shit. We just kind of went. I to don't school. know if it's my high school specifically, but I don't think I know a single person that used the shower. Bro, I don't know a single person that used the toilet in high school. <laughs> Not anyone was using the bathroom in high school. I mean, dudes peed, but I don't think dudes <laughs> went to the bathroom in the poop. Nah. Oh no, I used to really lay them down really? in high school. Yeah. Oh jeez. Uh, it was it was getting out of class. It was the same thing as work. I think as you get older, you become you don't care. But yeah, in high school, man, we used to fucking we used to double practice, no showers, put back on your your fucking. I man, I used to wear my basketball shorts under. My jeans. It was gross. Oh, yes. I did that, too. Basketball shorts gross. under the jeans. Fucking gross, man. Yeah, instead of taking off the cargo, what I would do is I would wear the gym shorts under my shit, and mm. then when I got to the gym, I would just take off my pants, pause, and then after I'd go to the locker room and just put the pants on and take the shorts off and put them in my locker really? room and then bring them home at the end of the day, yeah. Ugh. All right. Let's let's kind of let's, – let's get back <laughs> into this. Uh, I feel so – <laughs> Monday we got uh we got a nice Jordan SB release uh the low UNC uh costume, oh the costumes, costumes yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah yeah uh what I do, have nothing on what that. Do we, you don't do you like them I uh, see I like I obviously like SBs I don't like Costin and SBs and I don't I'm not a fan of the UNC color so it's like really yeah if I'll get an SB but I'll get those pine. Futura dunks before I get those SBs. Really, I actually yeah. like the uh, I like the UNC. I think it's just so simple. Yeah, it's just, the color is too much. It, the baby blue is hard. Also, you yeah, it's a tough you know. It's a tough one. Uh, only tops I can really see being pulled off. Shoes, it's it's real hard. But um, I just every time I see Wait. Costin wearing SBs, I just miss E's, dude. I miss R- ES. Really? Yeah. You, I mean, I think the UNC is. I mean, obviously, it, I think that colorway has gained a lot of. Uh, popularity yes. since the once the off white ones came out definitely and it was always treated special because of the history of the the, the school but it, it definitely <clears> was treated <throat> but you know you also have to realize a couple years earlier they had a regular UNC one release which was you know slept on it was not slept on but it was overlooked yeah and then when off white released the UNC ones then that UNC uh OG one became more of a oh man I must get yeah 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 and now you see this low as being you're like oh man all right people are gonna definitely gun for it yeah mm-hmm. all that stuff there's a lot of residual I mean we talked about this when we talked about the uh, far from home shoe the Spider Man shoe there's a lot of residual shit where people see something that they can't get. So then they try to get the closest thing to it mm-hmm. or just hop on any hype train. So it's like, yeah, of course. So Virgil touches the UNC color. Now all UNC colors are f- viable to wear. Viable. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so like when this pine green comes out, all the pine green shoes are going to be viable to wear for a couple months That's because saying, of G- Virgil just touched the color. It definitely uh, – because I guarantee you uh, they release – I mean, obviously they're going to sell out regardless because of the yeah. color and what uh, – Jordan SBs usually for the most part – uh, Jordan and SB usually sell out quick. Yeah. Um, so I'm I'm looking for no different tomorrow. Uh, we shall see. Uh, did you see the Nike uh, SB this, uh, Jewel Supreme shoe that they're supposed to be coming out with? There's going to be some different. Say that again. The the Supreme collab they're coming out with. It's going to be an SB. Yes. Uh, yeah. That's come, yeah. I'm I'm looking. Yeah. That. Uh, we we're gonna see, man. Because Supreme has released some uh, some shitty Nike. Uh, Sneakerheads sneaker, are mad at this one too Yeah because it's definitely You know goes away from usually You know when Supreme does an SB With Nike it usually involves some type of elephant print 
That's true. So what we're gonna when, when they do a dunk, it comes out with elephant print. So to see what they're gonna come up with, and to see what they've been throwing at us the last couple of years, it's uh yeah. There you go. Wait, is this it? Supposed? Oh uh, yeah, this is it. So yeah, they're doing the jewel, and they got the little star thing on the side, and I think there's a red one, and a yeah, they get this metallic one. Yeah, sneakerheads are mad at these. <laughs> yeah, because they look like uh, shit, to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, they look terrible. Like, yeah, fucking putting sweat emojis on fucking the article images. I mean... Hmm. I don't know, man. God damn. It's just, it's, it makes me, like, kind of angry that... You and I both agree that these are, that's not a great shoe, but they're still going to sell out and people are going to resell them for a lot of money. It's just when uh, it, when, when it's this bad, it's like why would we, we got to stop supporting releases like this? If people keep buying shit, they'll keep making shit. Now, I'm not saying that this is do- like, you know, purely dog shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. There's been a worse shoe release, but if you if we want Supreme to make good product, you got to stop Letting them. No, I know what you mean. Yeah, I don't know. Literally every person I follow on Instagram that posted about these were like, "These are dookie." Yeah, they're they're really. I mean, compared like I said, compared to the last uh, the last uh, as uh, dunk low that they did, I believe the last dunk low they did was the red uh, uh, cement ones in uh, two thousand. I think th- three. Uh, no one. Uh, 2012, I believe. Oh, oh, oh! I was thinking the original ones. No, 2012, I believe was a. Uh, no, 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 yeah, 2012. That was the, uh, the last dunk low, I believe. Yeah, did. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's, now there's so many you can get mixed up. <laughs> but yeah, man. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, as our main Supreme correspondent, is there any other Supreme news that's going on? Uh. <laughs> the lookbook is coming out uh i believe tomorrow i believe lookbook is coming out soon okay uh other than that um that is pretty much uh it there's nothing uh nothing else uh you see that atmos is doing a collab with columbia no it's yo it's so funny because it's like bad really it's a bad shoe <laughs> hold on let me find it atmos it's a bad shoe it's Columbia is not a brand that I would think that uh, Atmos would work with. Like I don't think that I <laughs> these dudes in Harlem going like, "Yo, who do you want to work with now?" What about Columbia? You're like, "What?" <laughs> this doesn't even make any sense. But um, wait, hold on. Cover me while I find that image of this for you. you okay. Haven't seen it. Or you just stand. Aside. Oh my so bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these are them. Look at these fucking things, dude. Yeah, those are. Uh... These are bad. They look like uh, Pharrell's, but yeah, not they, as good. They look like for they they look uh, like that, and then a uh, pair of Jordan uh, the Why Nots, like a pair of Jordan brand sneakers. They look terrible. <laughs> yeah, they're not good. <laughs> these, these these are real bad. Mm-hmm. These are real, 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 real bad. Mm-hmm. These are on a list of bad. Cl- this, this so this is the list of bad collabs coming out soon. Uh, Supreme Nike SB. Um, and then Columbia and Atmos, and mm. then Joe Budden as number three. Joe Budden at number three. <laughs> and then <laughs> I just wanted to just get a- Joe Budden number three. <laughs> Joe, I, I had so much fun making my own stupid list where Joe Budden was number three on everything. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> I was. You know, I never tweet, but I was tweeting up a storm. It's hilarious, show. Did you listen? Did you look at that list? Did you see it? Uh yeah, did the 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 uh, top, 50. top fifty? Yeah. yeah, Jay was number one. I forgot. Nas was number, was number two. Yeah, and, and then, then Joe Button, Button was, was number three. three. Yeah, that's insane. He's I'll give him top forty, but he's not number even three. close it's to number, five. Yeah, and Big Biggie was like number seven, and I think they didn't even have um, uh, was it Cool G Rap on it? They didn't have like didn't have some old K- K- like yeah KRS. I don't think was on there. I don't I don't remember. I don't have the list in front of me, but there was Matt like Ludacris wasn't on it. I don't think Scarface was on it. Uh, I forget if DMX was, but there was like mad rappers that weren't there. That weren't there, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, that's too much, man. If people ask for your five, who do you who do you usually give? Big J not Big J Nas, uh, Big J Nas M. I'm like a commercial guy. Uh, mm. Big J Nas mm. M, and then we're gonna say uh, 
Ugh, Rakim's up there. Uh, I don't know. That's you know, like those are like guys. Jada's up there too. Yeah, I put Jada. Jada, Jada and Styles are in my top five. Styles, nah. Jada, yeah. To uh there's an argument that Styles is better than Jada Kiss. In a certain sense, yeah. But Jada's got more, more classic like yeah. bangers. So that's why I kind of give the. He, nod yeah, to Jada. he definitely doesn't. Uh, if all right, if Jada I Jada Kiss. If I was going to try to get a verse from one of them, I would definitely go Jada before Styles, but I kind of think Styles is above in general. Mm -hmm. But impact on culture, I'll give to Jada Kiss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is why rap conversations are so fun, because there's so many different variables and shit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like, there's not many people that can beat Jada Kiss on this just the strength of he has why. Mm -hmm. um, what was the one he did with Dre, too? He did, like, another version of why. I don't know. There was, and then he had, um, fuck it, dude. Top you always, five you always do that to me. You'd be what? like, yo, what was that? And I'd be like, oh, <laughs> I don't know, bro. Like, you setting me up. I'm, talking, I'm like talking about some, like, in the corner nerd shit, and you're just like, dude, I, I don't how know, would I even fucking I even know, know that? Um, mm. Locks, though, as a group is up there with groups. I don't know. That's just, just a fun conversation to have. But Joe, Joe Button, a, a three on every list, should be a thing forever. Mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I don't. I don't really want to push it, man. I think we can kind of wrap this one up. What do you I think? think so too, man. I think we. This one was really good. I enjoyed this one with you, man. Yeah, no, this is fun. Uh, so yeah. I think, guys, what we're gonna start doing is because me and Elk do this on our own now. Um, nothing wrong with us and Becky and Tanner in the studio or whatever. We just kind of like flying solo. Uh, so we might not always hit an hour, but that's how it is. Yeah, and um, I didn't. I didn't know you. Uh, you didn't even. Set, you didn't even write that on the, on the paper. You're gonna say that, but yeah, we are. We are. Uh, yeah, Chris and I are. We are uh, flying solo. Uh, love them to death. Yeah, no, there's no beef at all. We're just flying solo. Um, <laughs> you, what do you want me to take this part out now? No, no, we can keep this part in. <laughs> you sure? I'm positive. Um, <laughs> okay. Yeah, you know, and um, and you know what? If you uh, for your listeners out there, man, ask us questions. Uh, follow us. You know, give us five stars. Definitely ask us questions, man, because we're always down to answer the questions. Um and um yeah hit us up uh you can email us if you like that subpodcastnyc at gmail dot com uh you can follow me at not that Cheney and Lawrence at lzd three two five uh you can DM us questions we got a Patreon guys bonus episode up there with me and Frank the Butcher we're gonna be start doing more of that shit um fucking uh yeah go to the subreddit there's plenty of places to hit us up guys we got yeah. a great show. This is a niche market that not a lot of people uh, kind of hang out in and talk about. Mm -hmm. Me and Lawrence are funny motherfuckers, so you know we we, we make that funny for you. Serious conversations happen with a funny, lighthearted touch to them, and that's it, man. Yeah, yeah. Anything else? Nah, <laughs> nah. Um, maybe we'll talk about it next time. But there was there was this one Puma like nike's like ripping off this puma technology you know i kind of wanted to talk about like if that, if that's chill yeah we could definitely talk about that in the next one let's uh let's write that down now seven episode 75 we're gonna <laughs> get right into that motherfucker hold up hold up uh hold up i'm writing it down and uh i'm lawrence deloach and this is chris cheney and this is <laughs> sup podcast episode number 74 we out peace bitches peace